From the beginning, Garmin has been the leader in ADSB development. Since the early proof of concept days of ADSB in the late 1990s, we've been actively involved in delivering to pilots the most complete picture of traffic to increase awareness and enhance safety in any airspace. ADSB at Garmin goes back a long time. Back in 2003, we acquired uh, UPS Aviation Technologies. We had a long history in ADSB from the, the ground up. So it laid a great foundation for Garmin uh, to build upon and really take into a practical application in the national airspace system. There's multiple traffic sources on the airplane, so this really goes back to the early days of how do we reconcile TCAS traffic with traffic received over the UAT link. What if we took this traffic information from the TCAS, instead of putting it on the display, what if we took that information, put it into our ADSB box, and did some computation? We tested it, we put pilots in front of it, we got it certified. And it presented the pilot with a merged picture of TCAS and ADSB traffic information. With TCAS, it tends to be more of a, what I'd say, a tactical type device. You know, it's more in close with uh, ADSB, whether it be the TISB uplink part of it, or whether it be air to air, you get a bigger, longer range picture. And I say that's more strategic in nature. We view ourselves as a very open architecture company. We want to actively work uh, with others, and uh, we actually invest. We buy the equipment, we put it on our bench, we put it in our airplanes to make sure that the user has that seamless experience. They could never be our test pilots for us. It has to work out of the box and work well.